Ladies and gentlemen, yes, yes, yes. It is your man, Tone to a T. Breaking news, actually. Uh, I uh, went to sleep and I woke up. What in the name of Gilbert Arenas? What in the name of the Washington Wizards? Bruh. Bruh. The Washington Wizards have traded for... Uh, before I go any further, please... Hit that like and subscribe button so I can continue to create more fire content like this. Ladies and gentlemen, clap that up. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, what in the name of Richie Hachimura? Konnichiwa. Bruh. Bruh. John Wall has been traded and it has been official. The billion dollar Ted has agreed to trade franchise star, community superstar John Wall for the likes of one Russell Westbrook. Yes, Rachel, yes. Welcome to Washington, D.C., buddy. Chocolate City has turned mocha. And uh, it has become scary in Washington, D.C. Uh, yes, it has. Ladies and gentlemen, what is scary about this? I will continue on and tell you what is scary about this. Ladies and gentlemen, this franchise, this franchise, this beautiful basketball franchise that has been in my city for years and years and years has now turned over to the one, the only, the Bradley Bill, ladies and gentlemen, clap it up for you. Uh, uh, yes, 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 Bradley Bill, ladies and gentlemen, Bradley Bill is the new franchise player of the Washington Wizards, and rightfully so. He's been a star, holding it down for Washington for the last two, two and a half years since John Wall has exited with an injury. Ladies and gentlemen, what do we say about this? What do we uh, make of this? Scott Brooks. Will it work out with uh, Russell Westbrook? Remember, do remember, Scott Brooks was Russell Westbrook's first coach in Oklahoma City with him, KD, Harden, the beard. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the nation's capital. We welcome him to the nation's capital. MVP Russell Westbrook averaged triple doubles for three straight seasons. World famous, actually. For getting 20 points, 20 rebounds, and 21 assists, I believe, um, in honor of one Nipsey Hubble. Welcome to Washington, D.C., sir. I say welcome. But before I go on and uh, completely give it to the Bradley Bill, as many of us uh, like to call him here, I have a segment where I like to call Bruh. Bruh. The Washington Wizards faithful will not let this one go. Because we loved and still do love John Wall, ladies and gentlemen, yes. And we can always give it away for that. But what, we, what do we get in return? We get Russell Westbrook, fiery point guard, athletic point guard, Jordan Brand point guard, MVP point guard, box office point guard. Two years older than John Wall, but yet and still, you know, um, he comes with accolades and whatnot. And uh, what in the name of Gilbert Arenas? Is that a Gilbert Arenas sighting? Oh, my God. Turn it. Uh, uh, uh. I know. I know. Sometimes I ask myself, are we cursed as a franchise, ladies and gentlemen? Are we? The curse of label lay given to given by one Tony Kornheiser years and years ago, saying that this organization is cursed and has been cursed and will always be cursed John Wall signs a contract 
and then gets injured <laughs> when the contract kicks in. But not only that, though. It's so many other things that I won't get into, ladies and gentlemen. But what I will say is this. John Wall was a he was a good ball player. It's a shame that we won't get to see what those two could possibly have been. It's a shame that we won't see those two get together. But we'll miss you, John. We will miss you, John Wall. You were exciting to watch. You were great in the community. And you were just a great player. Yes, yes, Rachel. Yes, he was. North Carolina born and raised. Kentucky played. Drafted number one overall to the Washington Wizards. We thank you, sir. We thank you. Tommy Shepard uh, was caught saying in the media the other day that uh, they wouldn't... Uh, they were going to build around John Wall. It seems like that wasn't good enough. Doesn't seem like that was good enough. John Wall initially got upset because Tommy Shepard was caught saying that they wanted to build around Bradley Bill, Rui Hachimura, and those alike. And they didn't necessarily like the way that John Wall was representing the franchise by being at the Rose Bar and throwing up gang signs and doing so many different other things that he was uh, going through, which you never know what some some people are going through. John Ball was going through a lot at one time, um, you know, with family things. Um, I don't want to get too deep into that, but, you know, when you're looking at the totality of a person's career in a city, you have to look at all the aspects of that. And um, this is not the first time that certain things have and rumors have happened, have 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 come up about John Wall doing certain things. So I'm wondering if it's a break that both parties might have needed. You know, that that situation where you're with a girlfriend and she's a great girlfriend and she's amazing. But 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 something just isn't right. And she might look at you the same way. And, and you guys might part amicably and and go your separate ways that way. And I think that's what the situation was. And um, sad to say that it had to happen like this because I really wanted to see what John Wall was going to do. But uh, things just uh, don't work out the way you want them. Team players. Was he a team player? Ladies and gentlemen, would John Wall have been a team player? coming back to the Washington franchise would he have been someone that people looked at and said damn you know like billion dollar Ted gave him all that money all that money he gave him but Ted you know irregardless of what the situation is man you know we, we, we still uh, love and appreciate you know all that you have done um, all that John Wall has done and uh, you know we don't want you guys to ever think that you know I mean everybody was like give him the money give him the money you gave him the money what else could you have done you know what I mean Ted Leonsis get cr uh, 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 criticized all the time for not really really investing a lot in the basketball team but I say that man he gave him the money he did everything that he could do he gave Bradley Bill the money he's put People in positions of power that are intelligent and smart. What else can you do? He fired Ernie Grunfeld, for heaven's sakes. And that was a big move because Ernie Grunfeld was just the slime of the organization for years and years and years. But John Wall, we love you. We always will love you. And we appreciated everything that you were able to do for us. But it's time to move on. What you're going to do in Houston, who knows? I wish you well, my friend, and I wish you the best. And that's coming from someone that used to work <laughs> in the Verizon MCI Center, now Capital One Center, okay? I used to clean up you guys' shit, okay? <laughs> okay? I used to clean up the, you know, and facts, facts. I used to clean, I, okay? And I was proud of it because it was my second job. You understand what I'm saying? I, I took the job because of the perks. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I digress. No one wants to hear about my story. Everybody wants to hear about what these guys are going to do. They got a lot of, you know, young talent. 
you know, Cassius Winston, you know, um, who knows what they're going to do. You know, you could run Cassius at point, you know, run Bill at the three, you know, run Westbrook at the two. Nah, it, you never know. It just might work. It just might work. So I'm keep I'm, I'm I'm being optimistic. I'm keeping hope alive. I'm 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 believing in hope, and I'm hoping that you know this could be something special. Russell Westbrook's he 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 reunites with Scott Brooks, his first coach since since KD and everything. What's gonna happen? And I'm excited to see. I hope you are. Yes, Rachel. Yes, yes, bro. We're gonna miss you, John. But at the same time. You know, it's going to be something that's going to be amazing. I think it's going to be something that's going to be special. Give it a year or two, you never know. I just hope that him and him and him and Bradley Bill can get along. Ruby Hachimura can get along. Scott Brooks can get along and, you know, we'll welcome him here. It's Chocolate City, baby. D.C. representative. Peace.